Patrick Cook here. Hey, so welcome to session number eight of our demonstration of the Mandelbulb 3D Animation Copilot, which is a custom application uh, written in winforms.net uh, C Sharp. Uh, it's an application that I put together that gave, that would give me additional tools for animating uh, with the Mandelbulb 3D Fractal Generator software. Okay, now let me show you something else. All right, now I had in an earlier session I had made reference to this restore point. Uh, all right, so let's say you're going along and you're animating. Okay, we got everything, got everything squared away. Everything looks good. There's the far point went crazy on me again. Let's get that back to 22. Okay, so let's say I'm good for all of this. Matter of fact, let's go here and uh, let's, uh, let's approve everything that we've done up to this point. I showed you about this approve, so everything's good. Now what I want to do is I want to continue to animate. But my la in the last session, I went off and I explored a little bit, and I have a pretty good idea where I want to go. Okay? But I'm not really sure whether or not it's going to work out for me or not. So I want to, what I want to do is I want to set a restore point. Now a restore point is basically says that, look, at, at any point you want, you can punch a button and you can uh, eliminate all the keyframes that you had done prior to the restore point. The restore point is going to be 30, keyframe number 30. I'm going to set a key, uh, a, st a restore point. Now I can click on it to see what that restore, restore point is. A restore point is, next keyframe is going to be 31. The total, uh, the total keyframe count will be at 1500. All right. And the last keyframe is going to be 30. That just gave me an idea what the, what the restore point is going to be. Okay. So let's uh, let's get our handy uh, controller here. All right, let's do some uh, some work. I'm gonna move forward, accept, move forward, accept. Uh, let's uh, rotate. Let's do this. Accept. Uh, let's rotate. All right. Uh, rotate. That's good. I didn't rotate. Okay. So let's move forward. Now, I don't want to rotate now because I'm going to I throw the whole thing off because all of a sudden I was I was rotating, then I didn't, and then I rotate again. So that is actually uh, a point which where I went I went bad. I made a mistake, and I, I'm going to throw all that away. Okay? So let's get out of record mode, capture mode, okay? Now, what is my restore point? It's right here. The last keyframe is 30. So that was the down here. So if I perform a restore point, all right, it should delete all of the keyframes up to keyframe number 30. Because I went wrong right here. Keyframe 34, I forgot to rotate. So that's a bad animation sequence all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to perform a restore point which is going to delete everything up to but not including keyframe 30. all right let's do it all right so this will reset your keyframe work to the last set restore point the last set report point is next keyframe 31 you want to proceed yes done all right now this is telling me you got to go make changes up in your mandelball project as well but you see here that everything all the keyframes were thrown away up to the restore point uh, i could have done a hundred keyframes and it still would have taken me back to restore point the last restore point of 30 in this case now before i forget I need to delete all the keyframes up to keyframe number 30, and I need to get that keyframe into the editor. 
All right, and then down here, and then I need, okay, check my far point, far plane, for whatever reason, it didn't change. That's what I mean, it's crazy. All right, so that demonstrates the re restore point functionality of the Copilot that enables me to be able to quickly revert or eliminate all those keyframes, could be two keyframes, could be 200, in which I, my whole animation went bad, and I went down a rabbit hole somewhere, and I want to back out. Now, I do have a very good sense, because it's documented, as to where I go from there. Picking up from, uh, from keyframe number 30. All right. Okay. So, okay, we're in good shape here. Now, <laughs> remember I was talking about uh, good, consistent movements forward. Okay. Uh, unless you want to be a hummingbird, where's that? Uh, 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 okay. If you want to move through the scene in a nice, nice, steady manner, all right, you choose to do that. Or you could move through the scene, stop, look around, move through the scene, whatever you want to do. Now, assuming that I want to move through the scene and, and keep up a consistent movement forward, Every time I do that, all right, I, I walk forward and then I do something. Uh, look right, accept. Walk forward, look right, eh, whatever, accept. I'm always looking forward. And I know that I want a look forward, a walk forward every single keyframe. So I've got a function down here where I can do a, an auto move. All right, <laughs> and what I'm saying is, is that every keyframe, I want the application to automatically put in a move, all right, and that's going to be a walk forward. All right, <laughs> so every time I accept a keyframe, it's going to, it's going to give me a walk forward because that's set it up down that, that's, I set it up that way. I said, Give me a walk forward move. Every keyframe. Give me a. Give me one walk forward move. Every keyframe. Automatically. All right. And all I got to do then is just do the look or the or the, the the look down or the shift down or whatever. All right. Accept. <coughs> auto. There's my auto move. Walk forward one. I'm gonna do a look. Accept. <coughs> Excuse me. There's my walk forward one. There's my look. You see? You see where this is going? Now I can turn that auto move off by using this button right here. <coughs> I got a little tickle in my throat. <coughs> All right. All right. So that is the auto move. And the auto move is designed to uh, give you a consistent move each keyframe. Okay? All right. I think that's enough for this session. I'll see you in the next session. I'll see you there.